All right, we're scoping out exits for the tag match. We are not getting tagged. I mean, we yeah. probably we probably will, but <laughs> oh gosh, this is gonna be crazy. We've got a plan though, so as long as we stick to it and no one leaks my ideas, we're fine. I haven't told anyone what I'm doing, so for the most part. But yeah. So hopefully no one sells me out. Well, it's not gonna be me. <laughs> it wouldn't have been that huge. Okay, I would have been really frustrated yeah. at myself, but it wouldn't have been like the end of the world because homework. So Schmidt, what are you doing tonight? What do I do? Well, yeah, I'm what got going on? I'm gonna work right. at bar. Our one and only Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. 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 I, uh, and then, uh, I don't know, man. I might, I'm gonna go do clean up, and then I think I might uh, get my head to bed. All right. Maybe I might go camping, mess. Maybe I might go camping early tonight. Mm. Oh. My, my, tonight might be. Curtis night. the beer tree. Oh, Curtis the beer tree. That's what I meant. Oh. That's well, what I meant. Yeah. Not camping. I don't have a female to go camping. Nice. Let's not hit the car. What the? I want to see what happened to my stuff. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, please. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, I came in here and immediately hey, started working out. Where is my stuff? So sorry. It's been sold to Goodwill. <laughs> where is that? So I can start moving everything back. Uh, that's a, that's not a question I can answer. We made your bed for you. Yep, back it up. That's great. Moving day. Yes, sir. It smells like Naperville. Uh, yeah, it looks like it runs down to the uh, power ship down there. You got it. Alright, well, since I, I helped you come up with the idea, I guess uh, I'm probably going to get in trouble. But you know what? Nah, we won't say anything. I, I, don't, don't, say I anything. don't know where you're taking it, so yeah. I don't know where you're Exactly, exactly. Alright, I'll move. Keep the point to get it in the Oh, uh, hey. oh, you haven't checked the whole house, let me tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. It's multi-level. Hang on, I still got a, I got a, I got a mug I gotta put in there yet. You just, let me set that right there in the, on the little shelf. Oh, oh, mm, I don't, well, it, it, yeah, it's, I think it's also frost tonight. Is it gonna fit? I think so. Alright. Me. Cookies office. <laughs> Beautiful. The See? monitor's not in the TV room, I give up, and I'm just gonna take one of yours. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Where are your cushions? Now, before we get the show on this road, let's go over how this worked. Starting at 12 a.m. on Friday, all the actives will be able to go around and tag the pledges. The goal is for the pledges to survive until 4 p.m. on Friday and successfully make it to this parking ramp. However, there are a few rules. Rule number one, you must attend class. Rule number two, no driving cars onto the parking ramp during the 4 o'clock to 4.15 time window. And rule number three, there is no tagging pledges in academic buildings. This, this is Fosse. Fosse is a wall jumping, parkour rolling, flipping kind of guy. If he's after you, nowhere is safe. Then there's Eric, Cup, and Billy. These guys will pick you up and carry you out of buildings in order to tag you. And then there's Luke. Luke is probably one of the fastest people with like the highest endurance I've ever seen. You won't even run? Like, there's no way to wait. If he's chasing you down, you're, you're pretty much screwed. Thank you.
there were a bunch of other people as well, but they're not as big of a threat as these other guys here. No offense to any beta sigs that might be watching. So, step one was to make it somewhere I could sleep. So, I texted one of my friends who was living in a dorm, and I was like, hey, there's a bunch of people who are trying to tag me. Mind if I crash at your place? And he's just like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. I thought I'd be sleeping on the floor or something, but these guys are the biggest legends ever. They went out and bought an air mattress, so I had a nice place to sleep. Now, they claim they bought it just so that way anyone could have a nice place to sleep, but come on, like, they buy it from me. Like, let's be real here. Step two was to make it to class undetected. So I woke up, threw on my disguise, and stealthily made it to class. After I made it to class, I decided I should probably do a little bit of my morning routine, so I went to the bathroom, brushed my teeth, and did that sort of thing. The only bad thing is I couldn't really go anywhere to eat. Like, the way I understood it was that only academic buildings were safe, so if I went to, like, a cafe or something, and they saw me there, they could still tag me. My next option was to buy something from the vending machine. So those were like $3 for like this small little bag of chips. And I'm, I'm like, I'm a broke college student. I don't have the money to blow it all on a small bag of chips. So that wasn't really happening. So I, I didn't eat anything like at all that entire day. It was, it's pretty, it was pretty brutal. But then the attackers started showing up one by one. Hello. Yep. Welcome back. They just kept following me around everywhere I went inside of that building, sitting next to me while I was in my lecture. So it really threw a damper on my plans, because originally, I, you know, I was just going to sneak off and go out some back door so they wouldn't see me sneak to my class. I couldn't really do that anymore. So it was time for a backup plan. So I gave my bag to the friend who let me sleep in his dorm. That was pretty awesome. Also, it was really convenient. We have, like, all the same classes, so that's pretty sweet. He was going to take the next class for me, because my only option now was a dead sprint to my next class. I went to the bathroom, you know, was like, like, okay, we need, to, we need to sprint out of here. I go to the bathroom, I come back out. One of the other pledges who was in my calc class that morning, he got dragged out and tagged, which meant he, which, which really, which really sucked. So he was done. But then it meant like, oh shoot, now I'm like, dang it, they're gonna drag me out of here too. They grabbed me, and then uh, and then one of the guys, Schmid, he was just like, oh, he has a class he actually has to go to. We can't like take a whole lot of time here, so we have to let him go. So then they then they let go of me, and the second they let go of me, the guy who had already been tagged, JK, holds him back just long enough for me to sprint out the doors, and I just take off across campus, bobbing and weaving through tons of people to make it to my next econ class on time. And the, that run, it it killed me. I didn't notice at the time, but it was about 645 meters. Now, the farthest I've ever actually sprinted with like nonstop is about 400 meters. Now, up to this point, I haven't actually really done any like running or stuff ever in the past like three months. I was like not, I did not have the endurance for this at all. So through like pure adrenaline, I just pushed through. And because I hadn't eaten anything all day long, it took all of my energy. I got an extremely bad headache and I was just, I was, I was a wreck. About 15 minutes after I got to, got to class, I ended up going into the bathrooms and just and throwing up. Just like it was, it was bad. It was bad. And I'm sitting there in econ, and just like you know what, I I can't I, I can't do this. I think I'm gonna have to be done here. But I wanted to give it the best shot I could. So I call up one of the guys who got tagged, Justin. Big shout out to him. He's amazing for this. And I was like, hey, I'm I'm in econ right now in Curtis Hall. Can you bring me some food? So he goes, he gives me some Panda Express, and then after my econ class is over, about 30 minutes later, he shows up, and I'm like, I'm eating that, we're chilling, okay? Right? It's fine. And I'm like, all right, the plan is, after I eat this, I'll wait another half an hour, because then about that point, it'd be around, you know, like 3.30, I wait about another half an hour, and I can come what I'm gonna do next. The plan was to sneak from Curtis over to the, the Jardine Business Building, because the parking ramp was right across the street from it. But then, then Eric and Cup showed up, and I was like, "Oh boy, this, this is it, isn't it? They're gonna, they're gonna drag me out of here." So at one point, they were all talking with each other, and so I texted Justin. I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna sprint out of here. Can you just like grab my stuff?" I kid you not. Right as I go to start like like standing up, Eric just walks over and grabs me by the leg and just picks me up, and then Cup comes over and grabs me. We have family, family. This ain't going well. <laughs> This does not look humane. Oh 
Get down from there! <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of helping him, am I? <laughs> and, and yeah, they dragged me out of there and tagged me. But the game wasn't over yet. Although I was tagged, th there was still some stuff I could do. I could still help out uh, the other rest of the people who weren't tagged by telling them where all the, where all the actives were and helping them get into the parking lot. By the end of it, only one of us actually made it over there. He just, no one looked for him all day long, so he just, then he just chilled in the woods, waited until, like, it hit, like, 4.05, and then he just sprinted out from the woods over the parking ramp. A couple of us, like, tackled some of the actives so they couldn't tag him, and he won. And it was just, it was just super insane, and it was, it was a really fun day, very exhausting. Like, no one had eaten, like, hardly anything. Half of us were sleeping in, like, academic halls and stuff, so no one really had got any sleep. It was... It was a pretty brutal of a day, but all in all, I'm super glad I did it. But that wasn't the end of the day yet. After the tag match, all the pledges, we all went out, we went to an arcade, went to Culver's, ate some food, and we kind of just hung out. However, while we were doing all this, all the actives are back at the house, doing the kind of stuff we did to them at the beginning of the day, to us now there at night. So there were just pranks all over the place. Everyone is going this way. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. Getting the vlog going? Yes, sir. Alright, how about it? The nice thing is. Alright, who touched my stuff? Oh, oh my god. Okay, so, yep. I don't know. I just unplug everything. Oh, my. My wheels are gone. That's, that's funny. Okay. Oh, that's fun. I'll redo all my cables. Oh, man. My stuff wasn't touched, like, too bad. Um, my mattress was brought down into the dining room. I had to sleep down there. All of my computer, like, cables and stuff all came unplugged. But other than that, and the wheels in my chair got taken off. But other than that, it all wasn't too bad compared to what some of the other people went through. Like, their whole keyboard's getting taken apart and shaving cream getting put everywhere. This was definitely a ton of fun, and I can't wait to see kind of the other crazy stuff we do in this fraternity. Hope to see you guys in the next one.